Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an animated infographic in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly is a whiteboard animation software that allows you to easily create engaging and professional looking animated whiteboard videos, including infographics. In our example today, we're going to pretend that I own a meal planning business and I want to educate potential customers about the effects of food waste and how they can waste less food by enrolling in my meal planning course. You'll see then that this infographic serves both an educational purpose and a marketing one. Now I have already downloaded a bunch of graphics related to food waste. I'm probably not going to use them all, but they are here for me to use and I will need to upload them as we go. And we'll start with this one here. This is what I'm gonna use as the background of my infographic. I'm gonna to go to props and go to the blue and white plus sign. And I'm just going to drag my infographic background into there. And now we have this. So this will go behind everything and it needs to be fairly large. And then we're gonna put our world probably in the middle we'll see we might use something different there and we can get rid of these graphics here and this one let's just change it now my concept is I'm gonna have some facts in some of these boxes and then I'm gonna have some solutions so we're gonna say something about food waste something else about food waste Maybe one more thing about food waste. And then how can you solve it? One, here's another way you can solve it. Here's another way, here's another way. And finally, enroll in my meal planning course, okay? Let's go ahead and go to the World Food Program. And there's this article that has five facts about food waste and hunger. And if we scroll down, here are the facts. So I'm going to say um, one third of the food is lost or wasted. So that's going to be one of my facts. So I'm going to go ahead and get text and let's use this one. I am going to source this. Um, I'm going to kind of update it a little bit here. One third of food produced for humans. Um, no, we don't need to say globally. Let's just say it's wasted. Let's do more graph. And this is interesting. This one third, this fraction is not showing up there. That's interesting. And that's okay because I actually want to use a larger um, font for that. So we're just going to do this. I don't really like how Doodly's handling the fraction. So I'm making my own. So I copied the one three times. Let's change this one to three. And then. Okay, so now I'm going to group these by control clicking all three and move this in here. This so, so something like that. So that's my first key point. And then all of the food produced but never eaten would feed 2 billion people. So we're going to say all of the wasted food could feed, and then we're going to use the number two, two billion people in this word wrap it. And again, we want to shrink it down. And then there's another article I found from the Mayo Clinic Health System with seven ways that you can reduce um, food waste. I don't know that I'm gonna use all of them. We're gonna use some of them though. Okay, I'm back. I've added some of my key points, my sources, and I got rid of those two characters and changed my food waste positioning here. I turned it green as well. Next, I want to add some of those graphics that I had found. So I'm gonna to go to props and I click the blue plus sign. So I added a few, I'm not gonna add them all, and let's see which ones. I, I did kind of like this dumpster. Let's put that in the middle. 
you notice I replaced my original image there by clicking replace. And I like that a lot better. I'm gonna do a little housekeeping here. I'm going to click this little icon and I'm gonna tell this to fade on. And I'm gonna make it a half a second fade. I'm gonna do the same for this dumpster. That should be fine. So my first, let's just make sure everything's in the right order. So one third comes on first, then of food waste. Now timing, by default, every asset is, draws on at one and a half seconds. So this would be almost five seconds by default to draw this one third out. Way too long, way, way, way too long. Here, let's take a look. So see, that's a great example of why you want to make these adjustments. So let's go to half a second, half a second, half a second. Even then that's probably gonna be a little long, but that's okay. And then we wanna slow these down, these longer sentences. So I'm gonna do that for each one. We'll, we'll go for, you know, maybe four seconds. We might have to adjust as we go. If you want to do them in bulk, you can control or command, click them, and then click the little gear icon and change the duration that way. Hit apply and then say yes. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to just put this at zero and we'll put this at the very beginning. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to turn erase mode off and I'm going to change the hand style. I'm going to go for cartoon hand. Let's go for this one. Hit apply. And let's just see how it's looking. Okay, what I would do is put a delay between each one of these points. I think timing is okay on these. That one can go a little faster. Okay, I, I have an idea, okay. Before each one of these begins, let's give them a one second pause. And remember I said I'm gonna make that one go a little faster. I think that one can also go faster. And then, we're going to want at the very end, go to scene settings, extra time, let's say 10 seconds at the very end. Next, I'd like to add some more graphics. So let's see, I have donate extra food. So I do have food donation. Let's go ahead and bring that in. And we can just play around with how we want the uh, graphics to come on. I think maybe like that would look nice. Donate extra food. And again, I'm going to have it fade on and I'm going to have it fade on very quickly. Okay. So I've uploaded my graphics and once again, we need to do some settings adjustments on them and we can do them in bulk as I showed you before. So let's go ahead and control click. At least part of it we can do in bulk, the timing of it. So by default, these all come on at three seconds each. If you recall, I wanted them a half a second each. So click the gear icon and we're just gonna change it right here to 0.5. And no, oh, it won't let me change it to fade there, darn it. Hit apply and say okay. And now we'll do the fade on each of these individually. So Go ahead and deselect these. Click the first one, pencil icon, fade, save and return. Then if we'd like, let's add a scene here at the end. This is gonna be our call to action. So meal planner. And then of course you can add whatever it is you wanna add. 
I'm just going to say something simple here. And of course, we're just going to pretend that's where there's a link below that they can click. Okay. Now that we've added a call to action, we do need time at the end of the scene. Let's just do 10 seconds. And then remember, I had 10 seconds at the end of this scene. I was thinking that was going to be the one and only scene. Well, we don't need 10 seconds anymore. Let's just make it two. And then we do need to arrange these graphics so that they come on at the appropriate time. So bear with me. You'll also see I'm over here on the sounds tab. I want to add some music. So we, this video is probably about a minute long. So something like this, good morning, would probably work fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it in the scene. And music tends to come on really loud. So I'm going to click the speaker icon and turn it down to about half, 42%. That should be fine. And I'm going to trim the beginning just a touch. Move it over so it starts right away. I am not going to add a voiceover to this. Now you'll see this is a little bit longer than our actual video. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten it by just doing this. And then I'm going to right click my music track and choose fade out because we don't want it just to end abruptly. You can do a nice long slow fade so you just drag the triangle out. And that should be good. We'll take a quick look and then we'll be done. how you can use Doodly to create an infographic. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.